hey guys ultimate toy collector here uh today we're going to take a look at the fugitive toys uh f box for 2017 um got the shipping label on here let me just kind of peel that bad boy off um i did kind of cross off my info so no worries but still I'd like to take that off anyway uh i was pretty excited when uh, I saw that the F-Box was going back up. Uh, you know, they had kind of stopped it for a while. I think people were giving like death threats or some crap like that. Uh, so, um, when I saw this was back, I did order it. Now, I did miss out. There was a bigger F-Box, which I missed out on, uh, or I didn't see. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Either way, I didn't get it. Uh, and then there was this F-Box, which... Uh, was 30 bucks with shipping came to like 36.95 and I've got it before and I did get some pretty cool stuff uh, I got like some uh, Like retired like Christmas pops. So I thought it was pretty cool I was like, all right, let me go in on it and uh, I'm pretty sure I'll get something cool um, I've seen some of the boxes my hopes aren't high, but let's see what we got. So We're gonna bring back the claw, the claw. Let's uh, be careful with this because we don't want to rip whatever's in here or put a nice little cut in whatever's in there. By the way, happy holidays, happy new year to everybody. Wish everybody a safe and happy and healthy 2018. No room for the haters here. All right. All right, so. Here we go. So we cracked this F box open. It's been sitting here waiting for me to dig in. And finally, it is time. Let me actually fold that back there. All right, so. Next one. Hmm. Let's see what we got over here. So, first up out of our F box, we have uh, a rainbow. Batman. This is, I don't even know if this is orange or yellow, but I want to say something, but I don't want people to uh, get offended if I say it. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I don't like these Batmans for whatever reason. Um, you know, collecting all the different color ones wasn't really uh, on my priority list when they came out, and it still isn't. But nonetheless, we got a Batman. So we're going to set him off to the side. We have a glow-in-the-dark exclusive Frost Giant, I'm assuming, Loki. Um, this has been up off and on on their site for a while. I guess if I had to get one of these, I'd rather it be the glow-in-the-dark one. Um, never picked them up, so it's pretty cool. Glad to add him to my collection, I guess. Uh, I'm hoping this isn't the only thing of value in this damn box. We got a, a Han Solo. Now, this isn't the retired one, I don't think. I think this is the re-released one. Um, so, values like 8 bucks. All right, I already have them, but uh, thank you. Got some more paper on this bitch. Throw that over there. So we're gonna put that off to the side. Now we have another box in here. So, um, just looking at it, I see there's absolutely nothing of value in here. But let's pull it out, take a look. Greedo. When Greedo was first re-released, I ordered two of them. So now I have three of them. And uh, yeah, I think this is the re-released one. I think the original one has the the blue lining on the box there. So he will go great with Han Solo. A line that I don't collect. The Elder Scrolls High Elf. I could give two shits. And I'm assuming this goes for like two dollars. 
Chloe from The Secret Life of Pets. Now, I did like the movie. The movie was pretty cool. Uh, me and my daughter have watched it a few times. But, nonetheless, I didn't collect this line. I don't even think I got the, the funky, insane snowball, even though I liked them. Um, so, this will go to my daughter, because otherwise, I have absolutely no use for it. Okay, here's one that, well, another line I don't collect. I did love the show True Blood, though. All right, watched all the seasons, and I did like Bill Compton. So even though I don't collect the True Blood line, uh, I will take a Bill Compton. I've never seen him, even though I would like Lafayette or uh, Alcine. Alcine was a shit. So. Um, I guess that's two things in this box that are cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh, say it isn't so. Coronation Elsa. So we have Coronation Elsa here and another line that I absolutely don't collect and could give two shits about and have seen these clogged up on shelves. But, um, so I guess Fugitive couldn't get rid of some of their peg warmers at the convention, so they decided to shove them in their F-Box. Um, and she's got the gloves on here. She can't even give you a hand job because you'll freeze your dick off. All right, Coronation Elsa, it is. And Gellian Urso. I never purchased him, didn't really want to, but I have Star Wars pops. So being that he is so important to the Star Wars Star Wars universe, I will keep him. Reluctantly, I should say. Um, only because he's in this box, and otherwise uh, he'll just get thrown in the trash, I guess. So, let's get rid of that box. Yep. Let's put these down in this box. And this is this year's F box. Um, and honestly, Fugitive Toys, you kind of just F'd us with the box. Um... For anybody who's seen Lethal Weapon, they fuck you at the drive-thru. Every time you go through, they fuck you at the drive-thru. So, F-Box, you fuck your fans. These are the best two out of the whole box. Uh, I paid $40 for these two, pretty much. Um, anyway, thank you for watching the video. This is my unboxing of... The 2017 F box, uh, and it's a bunch of crap. I don't know if I will be getting the F box next year. I might have to skip on that. So, thank you for checking me out, guys. Uh, I got a lot of stuff in the hopper that I'm gonna be putting out over the next few days. Um, everything from Diamond Select Toys to Mattel to Mezco, um, and even some Hasbro stuff. So uh, stay tuned, and until next time, guys, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, The Ultimate Toy Collector. Check out Cool Dad Pop Culture Reviews. Of course, check out Toy News International and all of our sister sites. And uh, until next time, guys, happy hunting.